You know, when, when you think about the Jesus of other religions, they're always a representation of, of an act of man trying to achieve godhood. Uh, Islam, Mormonism alike have part of their theology is that man can't be saved. He, he they can't know that he's saved unless he's perpetually achieving things or doing things, good things. Maybe there's a, a figure in their religions by the name of Jesus that they will pattern after who was a good man. But because he wasn't God, because he isn't God, then he's an insufficient savior. And so it presents for them in their theology that a pattern to follow for humanity is that you must be striving to, uh, to, to be better and that you're uncertain ever, ever if you're good enough. Totally different in Christianity where an all-sufficient, completely holy God puts on the flesh of man and comes and does for man what man can never do for himself. And he saves him from, his, from the wrath of Almighty God.